What is up, guys? Pinky Free Nine here. We are back on the Gaia Community server, and we are in Rigo. We're under the Big Top. Yes, the new Eden Big Top. We're in my big tent, keeping us safe from the elements. I'm nice and dry. It's been raining off and on all day today. Just it, it's weird because when it rains, it'll rain for like 30 minutes. Oh, it's been so annoying. What was that noise? So anyway. I am in uh, the shops because I wanted to check in on my sales. Oh, the pumpkin's been selling like hotcakes, guys. Oh, let's have said it wouldn't happen, but it's happening. The stone bricks, not so, or the stone, not so much. Who's in the server here? We got Sage Omnivore. Oh, I got a story to tell you guys. I have a story to tell you. Uh, we'll get to that later. Uh, the food's not selling so well. I don't know what's wrong with the food sales. I don't know. I thought I had some pretty good prices, so I don't know. Oh yeah, we got some sales. I'll take it. I'll take it. So let's go back to New Eden. You know, I don't like to stay away from too e from New Eden for too long. You know, I get homesick a little bit. I get a little homesick. Okay, guys, I don't like s s spending too much time in Rigel. Oh, it's the pig. Got to be very careful. Oh, I did hear that IGL was having some sort of bargain sale. He's got a bargain bin somewhere. Where is it? Prices. I think this is his bargain bin. Okay, one Zen, which is his unit of currency, for entire contents of chest bargain bin sale. Okay, so the one Zen for this. Hmm. I don't know. I think one Zen is two diamonds. It depends. Let's check out his conversion tables. Let's check it out. So one Zen equals two diamonds or 12 stacks of lapis. 12 stacks of lapis or redstone is he mental 14 stacks of diorite wow we nope no thanks those prices are outrageous i don't like his conversions i'm not even going back there ever again <laughs> wow that's crazy talk uh well let's see what else not too many advancements around here you know shiloh's slacking as always i think that uh stormlandia is getting some new shops going in i don't know if i should tour them there they don't seem to be done yet oh oh my goodness i gotta tell you guys this story i can't turn my back on him just keep him in front of me at all times okay guys you gotta know that you can't turn your back on the pig anymore I'll tell you this story. You're not going to believe it. You're not going to believe this story, guys. But I guess I'll tell you. We'll take a trip down to New... Oh! What's he doing? I want, I want him to leave before I do anything. He's a danger. Did he just put a, a cart down and start walking? What the heck is wrong with this guy? I think he's got some wires crossed. All right, let me tell you this story. Oopsies. Let me tell you the story of what happened with the pig and IGL Xenix. And it, you won't believe it. Okay, so this is what happened. IGL was in his country one day, minding his own business. And he was near the border of Emerald Fields. That's Wiscombe's country. And he noticed this cobblestone wall. So he went up to the wall and investigated it. And it was clear that he wasn't happy with this wall, guys. The wall was like an eyesore. He didn't like it. And he, didn't, he wanted to know more about it. Like, what was it doing here? Is it a temporary wall? So Sage Omnivore was the only person online from Emerald Fields who had created the wall. He didn't create the wall himself, but the country did. Someone in the country had. So he went over to, to the border and had a little discussion with IGL Xenix. And for whatever reason, it got a little heated. And Sage Omnivore said that, uh, well, something about, I don't remember exactly what he said, but something about, I'm going to kill you. Basically to IGL. He threatened his life. And IGL, you know, his country is kind of centered around battling. I have me a stone shipment here from IGL. This was a trade we made. Yeah, so Zenland is concerned with battling. That's what they do. They're, they're fighters. So IGL said, oh, is that a threat? And, uh, and Sage is like, yeah, I'll, I'll fight you. So Sage challenged IGL Xenix to a duel. And... IGL, being the battle country, accepted the duel right away. He's like, okay, let's battle. And Sage was couldn't believe it. He was shocked. He didn't expect anyone to call him out on his nonsense. IGL did. 
And then Sage immediately backed out of it. He's like, oh, uh, I was just joking. You know, you know how the, you know, people do. I was just joking. I didn't really want to fight you. But, okay, what do you expect to happen? You insult a leader. IGL's a leader, guys. And he got insulted by the pig and then threatened. And so IGL's like, well, let's have a duel. Let's do it. Let's meet up somewhere and fight. You know, and it was Sage's idea, which is the crazy part about all of this, okay? And you'll see why in a moment. So, uh, some time goes on and Sage is just trying to get out of it. Any way he can. He, like, his mouth wrote a check, his, his little piggy butt couldn't cash. <laughs> you know what I mean? And he was trying to wiggle out of it. Squirm and wiggle. I'm just going to do some terraforming while I say this story. I've been doing terraforming all... Oh, I'm almost there, guys. I'm almost there. But uh, let me continue with the story. So, he tried to wiggle out of it, you know, trying to claim that it was a joke and that he didn't really mean it. Oh, you guys take everything so serious. You know what I mean? You know? So, he was trying to get out of it. And IGL was like, you know, you're not getting... Everyone in the, in the party was like, Sage, you're not getting out of this. You challenged him. You know, you have some have some decency, you know, you're representing your country right now and you're not doing a good job. We, we took to Twitter, you know, to let Whiskrum, his dictator, know that, uh, that you know, Sage was doing, giving Emerald Fields a bad name, basically, is what was happening. And uh, <laughs> so we were all getting on his case and eventually, after a lot of, you know, everyone in the party, oh, Stormzix put a bounty on his head, like Stormzix was getting mad at S Sage for wiggling out of this. So Stormzix put a five diamond bounty on Sage's head. So the next person who kills Sage, and the bounty's still open, the next person who kills Sage gets five diamonds from Stormlandia, <laughs> okay? So uh, Sage was just like, you know, being, uh, obstinate basically you know why you guys always take this so seriously i was just joking just doing whatever whatever he could so eventually we all were on his case so much he's like fine i'll fight you igl and he's like i know i'm gonna lose he knew he was gonna lose right so he didn't want to fight that's the main reason why he didn't want to fight he knew he was gonna lose that's at least what he kept saying so uh eventually the igl was like okay yeah let's fight let's meet somewhere and since like fighting is not allowed in Rigel, and storms or Sage isn't allowed in in Zenland, and IGL is not allowed uh, not allowed in Emerald Fields, they decided to fight in the Nether. And the Nether is uh, no man's land. There's no laws in the Nether. If you're gonna have a battle, I mean, what better place than the place with no laws? It's like uh, it's like the wastelands of Gaia, right? So we're like, okay, the fight's going down in the Nether. And I was like, I wanted to watch. So I was like, okay, I'm coming to the nether just to watch. And like Sage is like, no, if anyone else is in the nether, I'm backing out of this. I don't want anyone double teaming on me or anything. So he's worried about someone, you know, stabbing him in the back or something. So we're not allowed to watch the fight. So it's just him and IGL Zenix in the nether. And IGL made it to the nether first. IGL was pumped. He was ready. He got insulted by the pig and, you know, he wanted to fight him. Because, you know, the, the pig said he's going to kill him, and then he backed out like a little wuss. And then he had to be convinced and, like, shamed into actually having the fight that was his idea. So IGL was pumped. He was ready to kill some pig, right? So he was waiting in the nether. And as he's waiting, you know, of course, you know what happens in the nether. Gas come along, and all sorts of mobs are, you know, fighting you. So IGL was fighting a mob in the nether, waiting for the pig to show up. All of a sudden, I see on my screen... IGL Xenix was doomed to fall by Sage Omnivore 500. No one understood what, what had happened. You know, the, the duel hadn't started. You know, they hadn't even meet up, met up with each other yet. But all of a sudden, IGL was dead to the pig. And IGL was just quiet. Like, he, he didn't say anything. And we're like, the, the, this, the party was just in silence. No one no, knew what happened. And then IGL goes, he just stabbed me in the back <laughs> while I was fighting a ghast before the duel had started. Oh my goodness, the Emerald Fields way. Is that how they do things in Emerald Fields? That's right. So in summation, guys, basically, Sage Omnivore insulted a leader, challenged him to a fight, backed out of the fight, had to be shamed into having the fight. When the fight did go down, he waited till his opponent was vulnerable when they were, they were supposed to meet up. And before they met up, he just stabbed him in the back while he's fighting a gas waiting for him. Oh my goodness. So immediately we're like, okay, we got to call a meeting. <laughs> you know what I mean? This Emerald Fields problem is just getting worse and worse. Every day it gets worse. You know, it's like the, the Emerald Fields people have no scruples. They have no moral code. 
And I mean, this is just further evidence of that. So we wanted to have a meeting and uh, the, the correct leaders weren't on. You know, the, the leaders were on, but the dictator wasn't on. We needed the dictator to, you know, be a part of the meeting, of course, because it was one of his citizens who, who committed the, the horrendous act, <laughs> okay? So we couldn't have a meeting in time. Uh, but then Sage, I don't know if he, he woke up with the conscience or something, but like a few days later, he made a written apology to IGL Xenix. So I'm not sure where we stand now. Like IGL has PTSD. He's going around killing every pig he sees. You know, he'll just scream randomly because he saw a pig. You know, we're having nightmares every time Sage gets on the server. We're having random, uh, you know, check your six. <laughs> we call it the check your six program. Is whenever Sage is on the the server, you know, every few minutes, everyone, uh, you know, is turns around and checks their six, make sure no pigs are waiting in the shadows, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you can't be too careful anymore around here. You know, they'll stab you in the back, these Emerald Field people, and uh, it's just no honor. There's no honor. And uh, I don't know what's going on, but at least he did apologize. So that shows that he did, you know, have some guilt about it. My feeling is he probably tried to go to sleep that night and he couldn't just because the guilt was just racking up. Oh, by the way, IGL had all his, like, his top diamond armor and weapons and they all went in the lava. So he lost it all. And what little he did have that didn't die in the fire, Sage stole. I forget, I forgot that part of the story. But apparently, you know, with his conscience being so heavily weighed upon, apparently he did give the items back a few days later. So, it's been a crazy, crazy few days here in the Kai community server. I've been, and all, and the entire time this is happening, I've just been terraforming. You know, some people around here gotta get some work done. So, I've, I've been doing what you're seeing now for, the, for hours now. Hours upon hours upon hours of this. And uh, I'm about to build a mountain all by myself in survival mode. It's gonna be a crazy feat. I don't know, I don't know, man. It's, it's craziness. I'm almost there, I'm reaching it. Um, it's gonna be kinda hard to make the thing meet up, so I'm gonna do my best. I've been trying to like stagger it in some places, in other places I give it like a sheer face. And of course I'm gonna go back and uh, put some uh, detail, I guess you would call it detail, but some variation. Some more variation in the in the elevation changes because it's you know it's looking kind of weird man so we haven't even heard from whiskram since this all happened i don't know how he feels about this if he's going to punish sage or give him a medal i don't know i don't know how they do it over there in emerald fields it's a whole different system i can't even like i can't even wrap my head around it a lot of times you know what i mean it's like things like this sometimes are rewarded over there you know fighting without honor Oh my goodness, fighting without honor. And the worst part about it is like after it happened, he wasn't sorry, he wasn't remorseful. He's like, yeah, I stabbed him in the back. He wasn't looking at me. Like he knew they were supposed to meet up for a fight and have a, like an organized battle, you know, a duel. It was a duel, We were call everyone in the party was calling it a duel, you know, just like at high noon. You meet me at high noon, we say hello, right? <laughs> we say hello, how are you? How was your breakfast? And then, then you shoot each other. You don't just uh, walk up on the guy while he's waiting for you, and, for your fight, and then just stab him in the back when he's not looking. I mean, Sage was afraid. He was scared. Like, he knew that, like I said, his mouth was writing checks that his butt couldn't cash, you know? So he was a little bit scared, and he took an advantage when he saw it. But guys, let this be a lesson to you. If you're scared of getting involved in fights, Maybe you shouldn't start fights. I don't know. It's just me. Maybe maybe I'm weird. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe I'm the strange one. But yeah, if you don't want to get killed, maybe you shouldn't start a fight with somebody. Especially a leader of the battle nation. You know? I mean, they haven't got set up yet. You know, they're not completely, like, ready for battle. But they're going to be building arenas over in Zenland. And they're the PvP country. They're the country that likes to fight each other. So, of all the people to threaten and insult... Uh, and it was the leader of the country too? Oh my goodness. So I guess now there's an embargo on Sage Omnivore with Zenland. Uh, no one is interacting with him at all. I don't know if that's been lifted since the apology or not. I mean, it was good for him to apologize because otherwise it was going to be uh, ish <laughs> an issue. <laughs> you know what I mean, guys? Oh man. He really, he really screwed the pooch on that one. So hopefully, you know, this doesn't cause an international incident. You know, we were already talking about war afterwards, so I think Sage did what he had to do to keep Emerald Fields away from the battlefield. 
you know, we haven't had a war yet, and he didn't want to be the one to cause the first war, <laughs> you know? So I don't know if he's really sorry or if, if apologizing is just going to help his cause. I'm not really sure. I can't, again, I can't be sh certain. And then, uh, like, right after this incident happened, Sage Omnivore's mic broke, so now he can't explain himself. So it's just, it's crazy out here, guys. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, man, I can't believe... So some of the things that have happened on this server so far, it's nuts. Some of the things that have happened here are just, they, you wouldn't believe it. And uh, for some reason, a lot of it is surrounding Emerald Fields. A lot of it. So there's a lot of, a lot of drama, a lot of controversy coming out of the, the, north, the Northwest <laughs> that way. I mean, we're not building a wall over there for nothing, <laughs> okay? We want to keep the backstabbers out of our pure country. Man, I don't want to get stabbed in the back. Who knows? So that's why, uh, you know, whenever I see the pig now, I almost feel like I was the one stabbed in the back. I got the PTSD. It was traumatic for me, too, just to hear the whole series of events. This all occurred within the space of an hour. He goes from threatening his life to being scared to, you know, being proud of having no morals to being shamed into backing up what he started to stabbing in the back just because so, so he could have an advantage. It was crazy. What a roller coaster ride of dramatic emotions that was. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I, sorry, that was, a, that was a random check your six thing there. I, I can't be too certain anymore. So every five minutes, I got to check my six just to make sure there's no pigs waiting in the wings. Oh, man. It's a sad situation. A sad state of affairs on this map. Hopefully, you know, maybe Wiscom can sort this out. I don't know. I don't know if it's possible to get sorted out. So yeah, there's plenty of drama here <laughs> in Gaia. Plenty of drama to go around at all times, it feels like. Uh, at least I'm not involved in it. Well, usually I am. Usually I am. <laughs> I just thought it was important to get the word out there. I don't want other people to fall victim to the pig, you know? He's a, he's a menace and he's he may need to be stopped. Alright, alright. So that's enough of that. Oh no, I fell! Let me go get some arrows. I'm low on arrows. I uh, I made a trade with IGL Xenix. He needed a looting sword, so I agreed that I would I would enchant for him, for in exchange for a single chest full of stone. You know, so I enchanted him a sword. So that's why I'm not. A, I was at level 34. Let's go up to the top and take a look around before we say ciao, ciao Chescu to this video. Let's go up to the top here. And we're almost there, guys. This terraforming job has been, you know, one of those grinds that you just don't even want to talk about. And, you know, you're stuck with me for a couple of videos now uh, while I do the grind motions, <laughs> the grinding motions. So I appreciate you guys for that. I promise you that this is going to be part of the wonder of the, of the world, the modern world. Why is there a hole here? All right. So there, here's the view from the top. We're almost there. We're almost there. We got to connect these things. We got to make them meet. Shouldn't be too tough, too difficult. And then I'm going to make a, a little roadway coming from the top here that goes... I mean, there's going to be a waterfall up here. Of course there's going to be a waterfall. A road up to the waterfall. I think we're going to call this Mount Eden. Yes. The other day in the stream, I played the, uh, an album from a group called Mount Eden. And I think we're going to call this Mount Eden. <laughs> okay? I like it. I like it a lot, actually. I don't even want to think of any other possibilities. I'm going to sprinkle in some variation here, some... some uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Some texture, some details. This mountain's gonna look realistic when it's all said and done, so don't worry about that. But we do have a nice view. That hole is getting a lot deeper. It's probably to about there now, so I have some more digging to do in there. Ro, if you wanna help me dig the hole, you know, you're more than welcome. I'm the only one digging that hole so far. I think he's been messing around with villagers. So, yes! Thank you everyone on the server. Sage on over 500. At least he didn't stab anyone in the back while this video was being recorded. IGL's in the in the server, so there's a little bit of tension right now. Alright guys, that's going to be the episode for today. Uh, be sure to never turn your back on the pig from now on. You never know what could happen. Uh, don't challenge him to any duels, because it's not going to work out in your favor. Alright guys, leave a like if you enjoyed this. As always, happy Minecrafting! Peace! Peace!